So the highs and lows of marriage. When I get told how important I am, how much I'm loved, um, how much uh, you want to be with me, that is a high point for me in marriage. But when I get neglected or I feel unimportant and unloved and insecure in the relationship, that's a very low point in a marriage. So there's also different phases in marriage. So when we get married, the first year, it's adapting to each other, learning to live together if you have not lived together before, um, learning how to do life together. The, that in itself can cause a lot of lows and down, uh, ups and downs. The next phase is when the first child is born. And that is a it's highlight in couples' life. But I don't think most couples are really prepared for the challenges. And of course, the joy it can bring as well. But they just think of the joy. But the challenge is there's now a third party in the relationship. And it's not an affair, like it's not the third party like an affair, but the mom would usually just become very focused on the child because it's a natural nurturing instinct. And the husband will feel, what about me? And not have, uh, want to say something about it because it sounds so selfish. But it can bring a low point in a relationship because it can have an impact on the intimacy, sexual relationship. The second uh, uh, low point can come again when the second child is born because it can just get worse and worse. They also say that, you know, you go through ups and downs in marriages and that every seven years, talk about the seven year itch. You can um, subscribe a lot of meaning to that if you want to, but the biggest highs in the relationships are when you feel loved, appreciated, and especially when you feel loved for who you are, then you are on a high in your relationship. When you feel unimportant, criticized, rejected, that's a very big low point. And those can come in many forms in many days. So every cataclysmic event, every life um, crisis can bring a low point in relationship as well unless a couple has the ability to stand together because a difficult situation, a crisis, like a retrenchment of an illness or a death or a move or a, an affair can really bring a lot of low points in a relationship. But if a, a couple understands how to stand together, they can grow their relationship through that challenge to a higher point that they've ever been before.